welcome back and if you're new here hi welcome join the enthusiasm subscribe yes i am prakriti i mean i look like a creature from some other planet but so in today's video i am going to create this look halloween look you guys that time of the year is back my favorite time of the year is back and i'm so damn excited like so damn excited this time for halloween i thought i will go complete neon like neon crazy so this is what i did my face and my earring is neon pink my nails are neon pink and the rest of it is neon green so you guys this video is going to be a voiceover and i can't do a talk through video because if i do that this video will be like 45 to 50 minutes long so the makeup look is very much monochromatic it's all like pink how am I supposed to like snap? Alright, so starting off with contact lenses, I inserted these lenses which are wild you guys. And next I am going to moisturize and for that I am using the Clinique Dramatically Refrain Moisturizing Lotion to moisturize my face and neck. And using a good moisturizer is key as I am going to pack a lot of full coverage foundation on my face. So for primer, I am using the Maybelline Blur and Smooth Primer and applying a generous amount on my T-zone and then tapping it into my skin. For the next step, I am using the foundation. And for that, I am using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Golden. I am using a sponge to blend it into my skin. For this look, you need like a complete plastic finish. So make sure no pigmentation is peeking through your foundation whatsoever and this foundation is pretty buildable without looking cakey so I think the job gets a little bit easier with this foundation and also I am going to apply it on my neck just to even out everything as you can see my face looks a bit like more yellow or golden. Now for concealer, I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in pure beige and applying it under my eyes around my mouth and then I let it sit for almost a minute and then blend it with my sponge. Now this concealer tends to pick up or move the product under it. So make sure you let it sit for like a generous amount of time and then only blend it. So to set my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in light medium. It brightens up my under eyes, although light medium, I don't think it's my perfect shade, but still it just brightens up the whole face. And that is what I want for this look. Now next for the eyes, that was like a dramatic zoom. So next for the eyes, I am going to use the Age Rewind Concealer and Neutralizer. And this will make sure that uh, there is no discoloration on my lid and also it will like create a bright base for the neon pink kind of color that I'm going to use. Now next I'm using the Tammy into Revolution Tropical Carnival palette and I am taking the pink shade on a dome shaped Morphe brush. I'm laying the color into the crease and also my lid. Now I'm slowly building it up. You just have to tap it as you guys can see. You don't have to blend it right now. So next I'm using the pink shade from the Makeup Revolution Life on Dance Flow Sparklers palette and blending it with the initial pink shade to get a faded sort of effect. So right now I'm just blending it and make sure you blend it really properly. Especially if the base is wet, it can be a little bit difficult to blend the shades but that's okay. You just have to give a little bit of time. And do not forget the inner corner like the inner portion otherwise it looks very, your eyes will look very small. So next I am extending the shade and the pink shade and winging it out to mix it with the contour later. Now for my lower lash line I am using the pink shade that I applied on my lid and smudging it and blending it properly plus also connecting it to the extended wing so that everything looks very blended and put together. For my inner corner, I am using the very first neon green metallic shade from the Tammy into Revolution palette and I am taking this shade a bit on my lower lash line and also a bit towards my brows, you know. So next, I am going to do the brows on camera, you guys. Get ready. For brows, I am using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Brow Pomade in Ebony and filling in my brows. I use like small to and fro motion to really get into the brows and also fill in the gaps.
Now next for brow gel, I am using the NYX Brow Freak Eyebrow Gel. I don't think NYX makes this anymore but it's such a good brow gel you guys. It was fun while it lasted. And now for my brow bone, I am just going to use the shade that I applied in my inner corners. And I'm just like pressing it and blending it and all that stuff. For eyeliner, I am using this felt tip eyeliner from Color Bar. The precise name will obviously be in the description of all the products. I am just lining my eyes and creating a small wing just for the sake of false eyelashes, nothing serious. And next I am just applying the Kiko Milano White Coal in my waterline. For mascara, I am using the Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara and I do two coats on my lower lashes and one coat on my upper lash. Uh, just to camouflage them with the false eyelashes and then next I am using a pair of false eyelashes from Alsh um, which is in the style L105 these lashes are so beautiful and dramatic plus they are very very light you guys so these are perfect for this look so next I am adding some rhinestones one at the end of each brow and three below my lower lash line and now further I am extending the pink on my eyes to where I generally place my contour and then I blend it with a contour shade. Uh, now I am taking the neutral contour shade from the Nika palette for this purpose. So yes first I am just going to blend the pink. Make sure you blend it properly. Now next I am taking the neutral contour shade from the Nika palette and sort of blending it with the pink. I was inspired from one of Mama Ma Mitchell's look to create this monochromatic pink look and it looked great with the whole wig and outfit. So next I'm spraying some primer on a highlighter brush and using the second shade from the Revolution Pro Rose Gold Highlighter Palette and I'm going to apply this on the high points of my face. And I'm really taking my time here. So next, to make sure that there is no extra highlighter on my face, I am using my sponge to blend everything and also to pick up excess of product. So for the next step, I am taking the contour shape for my jawline and a little bit to contour my nose too. Now for lipstick, I am using the Stay Quirky Matte Lipstick in Smarty Pants Bossy Lips. I mean, I just can't understand these names, you guys. Um, but yes, it was a bit patchy, so I had to mix some Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Jet Setter with this lipstick. It's wig time you guys. I bought a wig cap from Amazon and the wig is from Shein. I will link both of the items in description but putting on a wig is not as easy as it looks. I have used extensions but I wore a wig for the first time and frankly speaking I liked it. So I also added some pink hoop earrings to just match the look and these earrings are also from Shein. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you really like this video, then please, please, please share this video. Bye.